What's up, YouTube? Blake Sharathorn here, back again with another Showdown Live. This one is gonna be a Showdown Live. I had, I really wanted to test out some new Pokemon, and I was trying to use some Pokemon in a unique way because, you know, I don't really like Standard much because, you know, everyone does Standard, and if you play enough Standard, everybody knows everything. So I decided to use a Life Orb Offensive Clefable because I really like that back in 5th Gen, and no one ever seemed to use it in 4th Gen, so, you know, we have that. So we have the... Uh, Modest, max special attack, max HP, 4H, uh, 4 speed, life orb, offensive Clefable, 3 attack, soft boil. We have a offensive Ferrothorn. It's basically a cursed uh, Home Claws. Home Claws is just to boost the accuracy of Power Orb because Power Orb does have that tricky 85% accuracy. Uh, dual stab attacking Ferrothorn. Next, we have a Choice Banded Venusaur just because people say offensive Venusaur is pretty good. Me, personally, I've never actually used one before, so, you know, I figured Choice Banded Venusaur, let's go. Next, I wanted really, I really wanted a Fire-type, because I did notice I do have a bit of a Fire weakness on this team. So, I really wanted to have a Fire-type on this team, so I wanted to use Arcanine, because, you know, nobody really uses Arcanine, in, like, ever. So, I decided to Choice Scarf it, so it's Choice Scarf Adamant. Next, we, I wanted a Mega, and a lot of things on my team are physical, so I decided to use Ampharos, because, you know... Yeah, that that fabulousness. And next we have a Shinshino, because I've never seen Shinshino. He was, like, so popular back in 5th gen, and now in 6th gen no one ever uses it, so, you know, I'm using the standard set. That one I am using a standard set up for, because, really, there's just the one set that's kind of good on Equal Fable. Or Shinshino, unless you wanted to run Technican, which I could. But I didn't want to, I really like this set. So, let us find a game. And so, let's see here, we have the, uh... Pretty standard looking team. This is exact. This 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 looks pretty awesome. So, I'm probably probably gonna lead off with Tyranitar or the um, or he could lead off with um, he could lead off with Ark and uh he uh Heatran I suppose. So I am going to lead off with Wolf the um <coughs> the Arcanine and I think I'm just gonna go straight for close combat. And see how much damage it does. It only does 52%. Oh, and now... He, oh, he just set up Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So now I can go for another close combat. He's probably going to switch out, go into his um, Gengar. His Protects. Useless Protect is useless. He is probably going to go out into his Gengar now. I would predict the Gengar. I would predict the Gengar go out into probably, like, Venusaur or something like that. But I really just want to see what he wants to do. He does go out into Gengar. Okay, that's good. Um, <clears throat> what would he go for? I'm going to go out into Venusaur, just because I have no... Nightshade. Nightshade. Okay. Nightshade is, uh, it's pretty awesome, man. It's pretty... Pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna go for a power uh pedal blizzard. I could actually predict the heat tran switch and go for an earthquake, but that would be very risky. That'd be risky. Uh so I think I am just gonna go straight for the uh he does stay in, go for the night chase. I go for the pedal blizzard. That does nice damage. I'm liking that damage. As he goes for one more night days, that will not be enough. And killer plant gets a kill. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Venusaur getting the kill. Now what he's going to do, he's going to go out into his Garchomp. That's fine by me. He goes for Fire Fang. It's good knowledge to know that he has Fire Fang. I'm going to go out into Blame Drew, the uh, the Fable, and go for Moonblast. Because I really have no reason not to. Moonblast. There we go. Because, uh, yeah. So he's going to switch out. He's going to go out into his Maul while. That's, that's fine, because I have Fire Blast on this set. And Moonblast did nice damage for being a resisted hit. That was nice, solid damage. I'm liking that damage. So he's going to go straight for Sucker Punch. That is going to be a resisted hit. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Fire, uh, Fire Blast can knock out the, uh, the Mawile. So that's one threat out of the way. Now, he's probably going to bring in... Okay, he's going to bring back in his Garchomp. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could take out... Oh, an Iron Head, as long as he doesn't flinch me. Yes, he doesn't flinch me. Go for that Moon Blast. Knock out the Garchomp. I'm guessing it's... Scarfed, and that's why I switched out. So, Scarf, 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 that's pretty cool. And the forfeit, the forfeit is here. So, that was a nice quick game. Let's find another match. Uh, this one looks pretty interesting, actually. He's going to lead off with the uh, 
the fortress to get up stealth. No, he leads off with the uh, the Archonaut, the Cophagus. Uh, that's that's pretty awesome. So I'm not really sure what this thing wants to do. So I'm just gonna go straight for Flare Blitz, gauge and see how much damage it does. It's a trick room. So I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into my Venusaur. Um, I did lose the Intimidate. And my ability became on me. I'm not too worried about it because really Intimidate wasn't there. Just nothing on his team really looks like it would be affected by Intimidate much. And he sets up a nasty plot. Now that is very scary. So I'm going to go straight for a Petal Blizzard. I have no reason not to. As he goes for Shadow Ball, gets a special defense drop. That's fine. Petal Blizzard not doing as much damage as I would like. As he is going to be able to go for one more Shadow Ball knock me out. I'm hoping now that maybe he doesn't have anything to deal with my uh, fabulousness. Maybe he doesn't have something to do with Chinchino. In which case, I'm going to go for a... Um, I'm going to go for a Bullet Seed to knock it out. As it turns out, he has HP fighting! No, fabulousness. And the fabulousness is gone. So, now I'm in a bit of a pickle. I guess I'm going to have to go out to my Clefable and just go straight for a Moonblast. Nothing on Steam looks like he can really take a Moonblast aside from the Fortress. And if he does want to bring in the Fortress, that's fine. I can also, I can just knock it out with a Fire Blast. But he does opt to sack it right here. Now he's going to go out and do his, ah, the Weezing. The Weezing's here. So let's go out in the Fort Ferrothorn. As he goes for a Will-O-Wisp. No. No. That's very bad. Well, that's one thing crippled, so I guess I have to go on the yellow duck, the, um, the, uh, my Mega Ampharos. I'm just gonna Mega right here and go straight for a Thunderbolt. As he goes for another will o -Wisp, burns me, I'm not too worried about the burn. That did nice damage, though. I'm liking that damage. I'm liking that damage a lot. So let's go for another Thunderbolt. No reason not to. Just try and get as much damage as I possibly can off this, uh... Off of this uh, freaking Weezing. I do score the Paralysis right there. That Paralysis is going to help me a lot because now I will be faster and I will be able to knock it out with one more Thunderbolt. I am thinking, judging by the damage my uh, Thunderbolt did, I should be able to knock it out. That uh, that Weezing could have been a problem, but now the threat has been avoided. Thank God. Now, I think I can handle the rest of his team. He's going to go out into Wrecking Bull to Tauros. Tauros is a pretty cool Pokemon. He turns out to have carry the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 um, the, uh, earthquake, that's fine, oh, the rock, rock climb did hella damage to me, okay, I'm gonna switch out, I'm gonna go out in my, uh, Ferrothor, just to get that rocky helmet, uh, no, the iron barbs damage, knock him out, that's great, so now my, I can still keep my fairy Clefable around for a little bit longer. So I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go out to my Arcanine. As he goes for Hidden Power, something, but it wasn't very effective, thank God. So now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go straight for Flare Blitz. I'm pretty sure this thing's sashed, but even if it is, isn't, I'm still going to just... All right, great. It's um, all the way down to its sturdy. Uh, it might not think that I'm Scarfed, and I don't think that... Um, I gave it away, hopefully. So, he's gonna go out and do Breaker, the, um, Car Caracosta. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go for an Aqua Jet, as he shuts up a Shell Smash instead, and I'm in a bit of a pickle now. So now it all comes down to this, if I can live an Earthquake, I can maybe win with a, um, or a Waterfall. He goes for a Waterfall instead, come on, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, yes! I didn't miss. I'm able to knock it out, even though I'm burned. It's four times weak, and he does have that uh that bit of damage, the lower defenses. So yes, yes, I'm, I'm feeling happy. So, uh, what is this thing gonna do? I'm just gonna switch back out to Arcanine. I really have no reason not to. If he does opt to predict this, go for the uh, Sleep Powder. That will be unfortunate. He just sets up a Quiver Dance. That's okay, cause I will, I should, should be able to outspeed because I am scarfed Arcanine. I am able to outspeed. I'm just able to knock it out with Flare Blitz. It wasn't scarfed whatsoever. So that was another bad uh, battle under my uh, another battle. Let's get another one. And he has the weakness policy. D Knight. The uh, oh, I hate this team. This team looks evil. So let's just lead off with the um. With uh, Ferrothorn, if he is Scarfed, which most of them are, this Ferrothorn can't really touch other Ferrothorn, so he's pretty much forced to switch out right here, and which gives me an opportunity to set up a free curse, 
which is great. And now I'm able to go for a gyro ball, and that should be able to knock out the X Cloud. He probably carries flamethrower, and I can't live it. Oh, I was really hoping I could live it for some reason, but uh, no, that sucks. So, what do I want to do? 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 I guess I'm going to go out into my yellow duck, the Amphros, Mega, and hit it up with Thunderbolt. It's my, really my only optimal play, I'm thinking. As he does up to go straight for another flamethrower, I'm guessing it's specs, which probably explains why I killed. So right here, I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse, predicting the switch out into Ditto. As it does happen! Yes! Yes! And now I hit that thing up with the Dragon Pulse. It is dead. I don't have to worry about that ditto anymore. <sighs> oh, that was a nice prediction, if I do say so myself. I'm going to go for a Signal Beam right here. Gauge and see how much damage it is. That did good damage, actually, considering it's behind a light screen. <clears throat> As he goes for another light screen, I'm guessing maybe he's using Choice Scarf light screen, which, if he is, I prop him for that. That, that takes mad skills. That takes mad, mad skills to be, um, to use Choice Scarf light screen. But he didn't, it was just a misclick as he sets up his reflect right now. That means he's probably light clay. As he now goes out into Scrollipede, I'm in a bit of a pickle now because he's going to set up Sword Stance and, you know, he's going to get that speed boost. And he's probably going to go for an Earthquake right here. Uh, as he instead goes for a Protect to get that speed boost up. That's good for me because he's stalling out turns that his light screen is up. As he's now going to Baton Pass into his Metagross. This Metagross now is a bit of a problem because it can Earthquake now and that's a dead arc. Um, yeah, that's that's dead. I'm going to go out in a Killer Plan and I'm going to hit it up with an Earthquake because really... I would go out into Arcanine, but I'm fearing with the screens up that will not be enough to kill and the, uh, the light screen wore off. <coughs> Screw it, I have to risk it, I have to risk it, I have to go into Arcanine, I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz, hopefully I can outspeed, I can't, I get a critical hit, that crit, I'm not gonna lie, that crit probably mattered, <coughs> great, so now he has one turn left of, uh, light screens, I'm just gonna go straight for Flare Blitz, basically death fodder this, um, Arcanine off, cause I really don't need it anymore, as he goes, ends up going for a Dragon Claw, that's not gonna be enough to take me out, as, but the ext following extreme speed will be, so I'm gonna go out to my Shinshino now, and go for a Rock Blast, cause no reason not to, and hopefully this Rock Blast will be enough to knock out this, um, this Dragonite, as it is weakness policy, uh, hopefully, but it's looking like it's too bulky, and it's going to live, and he's going to kill me off the Dragon Claw. This is not good. I really, really thought that would kill, but it turns out it's too, it's a very bulky dragon. I probably max HP, max defense, and that's going to be the game, because I'm pretty sure he can just knock me out, unless he goes for a Dragon Claw, forgetting the, no, he goes for an extreme speed. I'm able to live it, but <clears throat> unfortunately for me, he still has the, um, the Scrollipede, and that will be able to go for Poison Jab, and that will be able to knock me out. So that will be the game. So I think we have time for a couple more matches. So let's go find another match. So he has the um, very, very standard team. Getting all the all the standard teams. So um, I'm guessing he's going to lead off with Glide. Oh, he leads off with Glide score. That's a very weird. Um, I'm not sure what this Glide score wants to do. So I'm going to set up a home clause as he swords dances. As he swords dances. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to go for a gyro ball now. No reason not to. Uh, I would go for... Mm, yeah, let's go for a gyro ball. I want to gauge and see how much damage this gyro ball is going to do. If he does want to switch out, nothing on his team really wants to take a gyro ball aside from his Eggslash and his um, Charizard. I just realized how solid of a counter these are, but... I probably should stick a water type on this team. Maybe get rid of uh, Venusaur, stick like some kind of specially offensive water type on this team. It's probably be the best. But he's going to baton pass out. What is he going to baton pass out to? He's going to baton pass out to his Dragonite. As that, but Gyro Ball did hella damage. I am pretty pleased with that damage. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to fodder off my killer plant. I have no need for it anymore. I'm gonna go for a double edge right here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for a um I'm gonna go for an earthquake. And the reason why I'm going for earthquake is just on the off chance he wants to switch out and go out into his Aegislash. Predicting me to somehow live 
and hit it up with like a grass type attack. If that's the only reason I'm going for earthquakes, else this Venusaur is probably gonna die to another earthquake. But just on the off chance he actually turns out to have fire punch, that is good knowledge to know. I am happy to know that he has fire punch. Um, what am I gonna do now? What I'm gonna do now is I think I'm gonna go out into my Arcanine and go straight for an extreme speed. And, yeah, go for the extreme speed, because I'm pretty sure, even if he wants to go for an extreme speed, I will outspeed him, because obviously I got that choice scarfed extreme speed, all the speed, um, as he does decide to go into his glide score now, I'm going to switch out, I'm going to go back out into my Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn's a pretty solid check to, uh, this glide score, but it is just a baton passing set, which means he's probably going to baton pass out into Charizard, which means he probably has a physical Charizard, which is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to switch up. I'm going to go out into my Ferrothorn. As he ends up going for a Toxic, that is not going to affect me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, I'm going to set up a Curse, because I want to see what he wants to do. As he ends up going out into his Charizard, <coughs> I obviously can't stay out on this. So I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go out and do my Arcanine once again. And now I'm going to see if it's Mega Charizard X or Y. If it is X, that will be great for me because then I can hit it up with Bulldoze. If it's Y, I'm going to have a bit more harder time dealing with it, but I still can because I still have my Mega Ampharos. And Mega Ampharos is a pretty kind of good check to um, his, uh, his uh, Mega Charizard Y. So... I'll just see what he wants to do. And, um... So we could go out into Arcanine as he is going to Mega, and it is Mega Charizard Y. That Heat Wave did hella damage to me. Okay, um... Screw it. Flare Blitz. Uh, I'm pretty sure Flare Blitz will do good damage. Critical hit, 81%. Die. No. Please. Perish. Uh, I'm going to Mega and go for a uh, T-Bolt. On the off chance he wants to go for Flamethrower, I will be able to resist that if he still wants to go for a Dragon. As he ends up going for Solar Beam, that's a bit of a weird play, I have to say. But it doesn't matter. The Charizard is down. I don't have to worry about that anymore, which is great. It's great. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. Uh, I think I might actually, I'm in a really good position now, because, uh, I can handle anything he wants to bring in, except for the Tyranitar. If he does want to bring in the T-Tar, I'm going to, I'm going to switch out into, uh, Ferrothorn, because normally Ferrothorn's a pretty solid check, unless it carries Fire Blast or Fire Punch. In which case, I would be in a bit of a pickle, and, um, I would not... I would be in, uh, yeah, I would not be good. But he does end up deciding to bring in the Gliscor. That's perfectly okay by me. I can go for a Dragon Claws. He ends up going for a Toxic. Uh, that should do nice damage. Get a crit. Crit is very helpful, but I don't think it was really needed. But he's going to protect right here. Not really that big of a deal. He just wasted, um, f uh, Sun Turns, which I didn't even need the Sun anyways, but. Anyways, I'll go for one more Dragon Pulse. I don't think he has Earthquake on his on his on this Glide Score, so he's either gonna a have to sack off his Glide Score, b let something take a Dragon Pulse, and nothing on his team wants to take a Dragon Pulse except for the Aegis Slash. So I could predict the switch out into Aegis Slash and go out to like my Shinshino or something like that, or like wait, I have nothing for this Aegis Slash. I'm in a bit of a pickle now. I could predict the switch out into Egg Slash and go for the Thunderbolt, but at the same time, I have a feeling he might want to sack his Glide Score right here, right now, because there's really, really no need for it. Like, there's nothing he can really do to it. But he does end up switching out into Egg Slash. That is very weird play. Weird play, I'll tell you. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt now. He's probably going to King Shield just because Rack Up Toxic Damage, all that fun stuff. Um. So right here, I'm pro I'm gonna predict the uh, the uh, sacred the um, shadow sneak. Go into my egg slash because egg slash not egg slash. I keep on saying egg slash because I'm facing an egg slash. I'm gonna go out into my Ferrothorn, predicting him to go for a shadow sneak, 
And then that will get up the uh, Rocky, not the Iron Barb's damage, and Iron Barb's damage is pretty awesome. So, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to see if he wants the Swords Dance. It would be a risky play. Oh, I don't think he'd go for a sword stance. He actually decides to switch out into Gliscor, I guess, predicting me to go for another Thunderbolt, which wouldn't have been a bad play, to be honest. But when I'm here now, I have nothing to stop me from setting up a cur uh, curse, and I don't think he has anything to threaten me out except for that uh, Zapdos, because a Zapdos normally pack Heat Wave. <clears throat> That's the only thing that can really threaten me. But other than that, I think I'm pretty golden, to be honest, right now. So, I'm just going to set up a curse, and then I can just... Actually, you know what? Because he's probably going to protect, now that I think about it. He's probably going to protect, so I can set up a curse, and then I can go for a gyro ball, hit anything on his team very, very hard, and do massive damage. So, yeah, that's what, that, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a curse, and then I'm going to go for a gyro ball, Predicting him to... Oh, he just decides to switch right away into Zapdos. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. I'm going to go for a Gyro Ball. I'm hoping I can live a, a Heat Wave. And I can't live a Heat Wave. I probably should pack more Special Defense investment than I do. But, um... Let's go on to Clefable now. Go for a Moonblast. Nothing... Nothing really... Just go for a, uh... Just go for a Heat Wave. Like... I'm pretty sure, I can, know I can take any, any one hit they want to throw at me, and aside from his, uh, Ega Slash, nothing on his team really wants to take a moon, a stab, modest, moon blast, life or boosted from a Clefable, so, uh, he just decides to draw up a T-Bolt, sack it right here, or it doesn't sack it, but, um, I just go for another Moonblast. As he decides to switch out, go into his Aegis Slash. That is able to nicely resist it, except this time I have the Fire Blast. So, goodbye, Aegis Slash. Oh, like I said, I don't think he has any one attack to knock me out. I don't think a Shadow Snake can knock me out at 52%. He ends up Swords Dancing. Come on, don't miss. Didn't miss. Doesn't kill, though. It doesn't kill. No. I'm going to soft boil. I'm going to soft boil as he King Shields. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is just perfect. I'm going to go for a Moon Blast. I know it's a resisted hit, but um, uh, judging by how much damage my Moon Blast did last time, 21%, I know it'll kill. And that way, if he wants to switch out, then uh, it can just die. As he just decides to go for Sacred Sword, that's perfectly okay by me. Eggy Slash is down, and now I'm in a really, really good position to where nothing on his team really wants to take a Moon Blast. He's going to bring in his Gliscor, I guess, go for the Toxic right here. I could pre I'm could. i going to predict the Toxic, go for a uh, Wish, uh, a Soft Boil. Now, nothing on his team really wants to take a Moon Blast. As he could protect right here, but the protect is useless because I have a uh, magic guard. And nothing on his team really wants to take a moon blast. Because I could go for an ice beam right here, but at the same time, if he wants to switch in his Tyranitar. Uh, moon blast is my better play because it's stab and all that fun stuff. So now it's just time. Because I, I pretty much won this game. I think. Clefable's pulling in clutch this match, I'll tell you that much, because um, Clefable really won me that game. Uh, it walls his entire team, I just realized that, except for the Charizard. The Charizard could be a bit of a problem, but anyway. Moonblast was not enough to kill the Gliscor, shockingly. Uh, I probably should have went for an Ice Beam, to be honest, but he's going to protect right here. I have no idea why he's stalling so hard, but he doesn't have an attacking move. He has uh, Protect, Toxic, Sword Stance, and uh, Baton Pass. So he's going to obviously Baton Pass into his um, Tyranitar. Because it's his only, it's the only Pokemon that would benefit from having plus 2 in attack. And that thing is not going to appreciate a Moonblast. It takes 56% from it. I'm actually pretty sure I can mm, live any one hit he wants to go for. Unless it's a Stone Edge. I might not be able to live a Stone Edge to be honest. I'm not 100%, but an Earthquake, I can live, and I can knock you out with a Moon Blast. And now I'm looking pretty good. If he, bring, now he brings in Zapdos, I know I cannot live a uh, Thunderbolt, but at the same time, I, really, I do need this Clefable. I'll 
of those. So I am going to sack my Mega Ampharos to a T-Bolt. As I don't die to the T-Bolt, instead I actually live, but the toxic damage kills me off. That's fine. Uh, go for a Rock Blast now. Because I'm pretty sure I can live any one hit. And I can. I don't even have to because I have speed. I knock it out. And now I won the game. I won the game because now I can just switch out into my Clefable. Wish, uh, restore my HP with, um, as he goes for a Toxic. Toxic doesn't matter. I'm just going to move into Soft Boil because I can. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, GG, GG, no re, GG, so he forfeits because he knows he can't win. Um, I think I have enough time for one more game, and then we'll call it a quit. So, nice team, he has that Swell Us, with Swell Us is always annoying. He has the, um, the Mega Pinsir, which Mega Pinsir is really scary. He has the Bisharp, which Bisharp is really scary. The Gudra, I'm not too worried about. Looking at his team, I'm going to lead off with, um... Oh, he, he has that per ugly. Not, I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. So I'm going to go for a power whip. He's probably just going to fake out. I could predict the... F Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to predict the fake out. And I'm going to go out into my Ferro Thorn. So that way he gets the Iron Barb's damage off. As he does opt to fake out. But I don't switch out, which is unfortunate. Uh, Showdown was being a bit laggy. And didn't quite understand that as he goes for the knockoff gets a critical hit on that knockoff and i missed my power whip i missed my power whip as he decides to u-turn gets another critical hit oh my god that was just oh that was terrible and uh, oh he went for i went for earthquake anyway so it didn't even matter really so uh, I'm gonna go out to my Chixie, the, uh, the Ferrothorn, and go straight for Jarable. Cause, if he wants to go for a Facade, that's fine. He goes for, he ends up going for a Brave Bird. Uh, that did a lot of damage, but I'm able to knock it out with a Jarable. It's all good, it's all fine and dandy. The, one of the biggest threats on his team is dead, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. He ends up going into this, um, Bisharp. He does end up sword Dancing, so I'm gonna go straight for Jarrowball. That did lots of damage. I'm happy with that damage, actually. Uh, instead, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Curse Predicting the Sucker Punch, which happens. Yes, so now I'm gonna predict him to not to go for a Sucker Punch again. Probably go for, like, a sword Dance or something. He ends up forfeiting, because I outplayed him. And you know how I said we have time for one more, but we have time for one more match. One more, like, full-length match. And this is a nice Yu-Yu team, except for the fact that it has a Mammoth Swan and the HR Sword on it. So, predicting him to lead off with the Mammoth Swan, I'm gonna lead off with... I don't even know what to lead off with. I guess I'll lead off with Fable and just see what he wants to do. And he does opt to lead off the Charizard. I was kind of fearing the Charizard lead. I don't know if it's X or Y. That's the big problem. I'm going to switch out. Go into Arcanine. It's Charizard Y. It's Charizard Y. It's Charizard Y. Um, Flare Blitz. Go. Do damage. Please. Kill. Attack. 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 Unfortunately, uh, that should do 64%. Oh, loving the damage. I'm absolutely loving that damage. I'm going to go out to Fabulousness. Fabulousness. Go for the Rock Blast and do lots of damage. Except for the fact that I did absolutely nothing in terms of damage. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Just don't want this thing having leftovers recovery. As he ends up going for a and he misses he misses as well as, holy hell, that was really scary. Go out into Ampharos as he goes out for Sludge Bomb. I guess predicting the switch out into Blame Truth, which wouldn't have been a bad play, to be honest. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse, predicting him to predict me to go for a T-Bolt and go out into Mammoth Swine. As he does opt to sack his, um, sack his Weezing right here, 2A Dragon Pulse. That's perfectly okay by me. Uh, what's he going to do? He's going to go out into Florges. To potentially wall me, is he, I end up sacking it to a Moonblast, that's okay. I can go into Trixie, go for a Jarable. He probably wants to bring in his Charizard right now, but if he does, a Charizard's going to die to a um, a uh, Jarable. He ends up bringing in uh, Zapdos. That does nice damage, but not enough. He's going to go for a freaking 
heat wave, and I have nothing to take a heat wave. So looking at his team, I'm guessing Mega, uh, my choice banded Venusaur is not going to be that useful to his um to his team. So I'm just going to sack that, sack my Venusaur to this thing. He actually goes for a discharge instead. Not even mad. Go for the nice choice banded double edge because it will do lots of damage to the majority of his team. I'm not quite sure why he decided to go for a discharge. To be honest. Um, that did nice damage. I'm happy with that damage output. So I'm going to go for one more choice banded, uh, double edge. As he ends up having the roost. He has the roost. But looking at how much damage this double edge is doing, it is going to be doing to a point where he cannot fully roost back all his HP. So now he's at a point where he can either roost or die. So I'm going to go there. But looking at it, he doesn't seem to have the heat wave. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a curse. As he undoubtedly is going to go for another discharge. Get the paralysis. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the paralysis. And I am able to get up the curse. Now with that one curse up, I'm pretty sure he wants to switch out. Or maybe go into his Charizard. As he doesn't. And I'm able to knock it out with another gyro ball. Now he's probably going to bring in his uh, Charizard. Yeah. He brings in the Charizard with the sun. I really, really want to use this, but I have no... I have nothing to take a flamethrower from this thing, so I have to sack it, which is very unfortunate. Go now into Fabulousness, and go for a Tail Slap. As I miss my Tail Slap! Oh my god. Oh my god, I just lost. I just lost this match because I missed my, I missed my Tail Slap. I really predicted a switch here. As he ends up roosting, I go for a Moonblast, and it's not enough. Oh my god. I, I lost. I lost this match. Uh, go for Flame bl Fire Blast. Really my only play here, because... I have nothing. I have nothing. Like... That... Oh, he, oh, I was about to say, did he miss his Fire Blast? No, he didn't. Um... I have absolutely freaking nothing. Yeah, that's 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 game. So uh, that tail slap miss was really unfortunate, but you know what are you gonna do? So uh, I think that's I'm gonna end it off right here. So thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, definitely leave a like. Those are always appreciated. So uh, uh, I will see y'all next time. Then uh, bye.